You do not have to have a talent to create. You just have to find what you love creating inside of you. And everybody has that. Everybody has that as a child. As children, we were very creative, but we stopped as we grew up. Realizing that about myself, I love fabric when I was little. I love art when I was little, but I just never did it. And so when all this art started coming out of me, that had been there. It just never had been allowed to come out. That made me understand that creativity is a part of everyone. Before I started doing art, I was a secretary for the town of Cary. Customer service was really my forte. I love helping people, but I didn't do any art at all. The one thing that this town had was a lot of cultural arts, and it was through a quilting class that I did a crazy quilt that thrusted me into the creative aspect of life, which I had no clue was there. That crazy quilt class brought something from inside of me to the outside of me, which was totally shocking. And all of a sudden, the reality that I could create landscapes with fabric hit me like, like, wow, I can do this. I saw that I could create flowers with silk ribbon embroidery and that they could almost become real gardens. And so that's why silk ribbon embroidery became sort of my hallmark. I find that other people like texture too. So it, it, it resounds with them. It makes them feel like they want to touch it, that they want to connect with it. This was important. It was important for me because that's how I connected with it, but I also found that it was important to them because they felt attached to it. When I first started doing this, the last thing I thought it was to teach. As people started asking me, saying I really want to learn, I felt the need that I had to share it, that I couldn't keep it to myself. I needed to learn to teach and got a few friends together and they helped me and here I am. First thing that you start with is the idea. Sometimes I look at a fabric and I see garden in that fabric. As I've gotten more proficient in painting, I actually started painting all my backgrounds. I look in nature for inspiration on that. I look at skies and I look at clouds. Then you start getting the idea and the palette for your next art piece. And then either you do silk ribbon or thread embroidery which is drawing with a sewing machine to create foregrounds. At the end, I tend to embellish with beads and other fibers to, to give it depth. It sounds simple, but it could take from three days to six months. Sometimes I've done pieces that have taken a year. Since I started doing this, I have explored more watercolor. I always want to go back so what I had uh, ended up doing is learning how to do watercolor on fabric. I just enjoy the fabric way too much. <laughs>